Hey guys, I'm creating this video to answer some of the uh, questions and comments I've been getting around the, the trailer build. Um, one of the main questions is the dimensions. So you, you can see from here, uh, this is a standard sheet of plywood. Uh, so four by eight, I added this uh, one foot extension right here to uh, enlarge the galley. And then I put on a uh, one by six to give myself a little more headroom. So lengthwise, I'm looking at nine feet. Um, from height, I'm at four and a half feet. And then width, I'm at six feet. Um, so this is going to be designed for remote camping off the grid. I would like to be able to spend two weeks. Uh, so that brings me to my weight. Uh, people keep asking me, <laughs> not my weight, but people keep asking me about the weight of the trailer. What is it going to be? So I'm looking at 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. Um, and a lot of that's going to be water, actually. Uh, I'm looking at a 40-gallon tank. When I'm camping and you're in the uh, desert, I like to have a hot shower. You know, I like to be able to get the sand off. You know, even when I'm in the mountains and you get muddy off-roading and stuff. At the end of the day, being able to take a hot shower makes it from roughing it to I can stay out there as long as I want. Um, it doesn't bother me being out there as long as I get a hot shower. That's my thing. Um, so a 40-gallon tank, I'm looking at you know an extra 320 pounds, I guess, somewhere around that. Um, I'm going to be doing solar panels, batteries, so that's going to add quite a bit of weight. So, I think that will factor in me closer to the 1500 pound when we start adding all of that stuff. Uh, I think those are the major weight elements. One of the questions I keep getting asked is about the kind of how it's built, the structural uh, elements, and how I keep this thing from falling apart on me. Uh, I do moderate off roading. Uh, I've done Moab, Canyon Lands, all over Nevada, uh, Nevada Colorado, New Mexico, California. Um, I'm not doing like crazy rock climbing kind of stuff, but uh, a lot of stuff what I'm doing is in very remote areas, and a lot of times I see very narrow trails, cliffs on one side. Um, so this thing tracking and everything uh, is very important to kind of track what my Wrangler's doing. That's another reason why the about the size of it. Um, but yeah, getting to the strength piece, the whole thing's gonna be wrapped in fiberglass. Um, it's all being built with three quarter inch plywood. Uh, the interior, I have a three-quarter inch insulation throughout, and then I'll have a quarter inch birch pinching it together. So a bit of a sandwich there. Uh, any place where I have two pieces of plywood coming together, uh, like for this piece right here, for instance, uh, if you can see the uh, seam here, um, <clears throat> that is being, uh, I'm doing a tongue groove type setup here. So I'm cutting a groove through both pieces of plywood and then putting like a one inch by a quarter inch uh, tongue in it and then gluing it and clamping it. And then I'll have plywood and, you know, holding it all together from all the other different angles on both sides. That is then, you know, wrapped in the fiberglass for additional strength as well. Uh, I think I'm going to show you the inside and take a look at that real quick. Okay. I'll show you one of the other major elements for reinforcing this bad boy. All right, if you take a look here, I'm doing a three quarter by three quarter. Um, this is going in all of my seams. Uh, so I'm screwing into both uh, directions of the plywood and that's gonna keep it from areas where I have screws going into like um, the, the panels of the plywood, the sheets of plywood where there's a screw going into that. This will just kind of hold everything together and keep it from the screws pulling it out. And everything in here is glued. Like everywhere, wood stutch and wood, I've glued it. So that's a big piece as well. If you look over here, you can kind of see uh, right there, yeah, where I got all three done. All right, this brings me to a close. I uh, hope this was informative. Uh, if you got any more questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll either fill the question there or make another video to address it. Uh, if this has been helpful to you, subscribe. Thank you.